Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about Alec. Yes, today is everything going to be about Alec. Uh, my Alec is uh, level 100 plus 1. And it is actually the character that I started with. I have his signature weapon SR, but he has crit damage. That's what I went for at the start of the game. And I know that it's bad, right? But um, yeah, that was the, you know, I, for, for some reason I was just watching a streamer and the streamer was saying that that was the best thing to go for and I just follow. Um, anyways, um, the whole idea of this video is just to showcase to you guys how good is Alec, uh, how good is his damage, where can you use him? And as you can see here in this video, I'm actually using my Alec right now in Slimes. Uh, my Alex has over 1k attack. I'm going to be putting the information of the gear that I have on him, right? Um, you actually can see that he's uh, plus one, that he has basically all UR gear. The only thing that I'm missing is just uh, the necklace because he doesn't have any attack per cent, so it doesn't matter, right? Um, but uh, my Alex, um, you know, it doesn't have like any crit rate or crit damage because uh, that's what he comes with. Like he's zero percent crit rate and zero percent crit damage base. So this character is definitely a uh, completely um, true damage only. You should not be going for any crit rate or anything like that. Uh, remember that true damage cannot crit. Um, so the scalings for Alec are definitely really, really, really good. I'm going to be showing you that as well right here. And it's basically um, to the point that you can go all the way up until 775% of your attack as damage. The only problem with Alec is that he's 4 SP if you don't have him plus 3. So that makes creating teams very, very complicated. As you can see here, this is the team that I'm using on Slimes. And it is not the best team ever, right? It just doesn't have like the ability for me to use all of the skills that I want. Because I'm missing one SP. If I had that SP that I'm missing, I would be able to add a unit with three SP cost, and then that unit will be able to do an attack and then make this a hundred percent without having to receive any hits. Because so far, sometimes the slimes may be alive because Elianir may uh, miss the crit and don't kill the enemy. Um, but yeah, so I was saying, guys, um, Alec is definitely. I mean, a really good character. He has an insane base attack. He's the uh, highest base attack of all of Pytsars. And he's the second highest base attack because Wiggle is 47 base attack. Um, but, yeah, he's definitely able to get to really, really high amounts of attack. I'm pretty sure that if you have, like, a perfect and well-invested Alec, you should be able to get to more than 2k attack without having any buff. So, for sure, it definitely is able. You are definitely able to get to really, really high amounts of damage with this card. Um, I'm going to be also showing you guys how good this card is in um, goblins. I actually managed to make a team for goblins that sort of uh, works, but it requires food, right? And the reason why it requires food is because. I don't have uh, Alec plus 3. If I had Alex plus 3, then it would definitely work without the need of using any food. But let me just show you that, guys, in just one second now. Okay, guys, so we are back here. This is going to be my uh, very hard uh, goblins thing. And um, again, I've been just testing this a lot. And as I said before, this thing is not 100% because it requires food. I would need to recover some HP to uh, my alien here because she will be occasionally hit and that will, you know, resolve in actually even losing the fight. Um, if this uh, ally was plus three, then I would definitely be able to complete this 100%. All right. But I um, just wanted to show you guys around what I have. And I'm also trying to see if I can use like all of my best units, like all of the units that I have been leveling up the most, right? Like uh, my Justio is a level 100, Elionir level 100, and then Alec now level 100 as well. Um, so let's see how this goes. So in the meantime, while we are watching this in the background here, um, I just wanted to say guys that definitely, I mean, true damage is really, really good, but um, it definitely has its limitations. 
to my understanding, all of the true damage units that we currently have, including the new costume that is coming to Justia, that seems to be that it will be providing you a barrier and some other type of increase in attack, I guess. I'm not sure, uh, but it definitely provides you a barrier, right? Uh, all of those costumes are focused mainly on PvP. And um, definitely true damage for PvP would make sure that you always kill at least one enemy. So that's definitely really, really good. But when it comes to PvE, you have to keep in mind that you are going to be getting to a point in which you are not going to be able to increase your damage anymore. Because you are always going to be doing the same amount of damage every time. Once you have the as high attack as you can, then you will not be able to get any more. And that will be the fixed amount of damage that you're going to be doing every time with your card. Um, so that's one of the problems with uh, true damage. But Alec is definitely a really good unit. Um, sadly, he's only two tiles. If he was three tiles, it would be like the perfect unit in the game. Um, but aside from that, I mean, um, I'm going to be showing you as well how good he is he in PvP. I'm also going to be showing you guys uh, like how much attack you can get with the full buff as well. We actually can check this out here, right? If I click here on Alec, if it allows me, let me just see if I can um, pause this. Wait, no, it is definitely not showing, right? Well, I will show you, I'll show it to you guys in a moment. As you can see, it definitely works. It kills the bots, is the boss, and you're definitely able to complete the goblins. Again, Elianir receive a hit, so I need to make sure that I have some food available so that she heals up, and then the run can continue, and it actually, you know, is able to clear these without any problems. I may need a few retry retries, but you know, it definitely works. Um, aside from uh, the information I'm providing so far about my Alec. Uh, I want to showcase how good is he on PvP, so we are going to be jumping to that in just one moment now. See you in an instant, guys. Okay, guys, so we are going to be continuing with PvP now. This is the setup that I'm going to be using, and I'm going to be explaining to you guys everything regarding this, right? Um, when it comes to PvP, I always, always, doesn't matter what other units I'm going to be using, I always use Cry and Rook. Because Cry and Rue will be able to at least kill one or two units at the start of the battle. With the uh, 3 SP that we have in the first turn of the attack. Um, so the way it works is this, right? After the first turn, I'm going to be getting 3 skill points back with Cry. Because the, the skill actually gives me uh, 3 skill points back, right? So I will be on 3. Then I will be attacking with 3 units. Basic attacks. So that would be... Um, a total of three more, so that would put me on six already. After that, um, I'm going to be also, um, you know, finishing my turn. And after I finish my turn, the game automatically gives me three more SP, so that would put me on nine. Then the enemy is going to be having his turn, and after the enemy turn, I actually get three more SP, so that would put me on a total of twelve. SP. So I need to make sure that I have enough SP to attack with all of my units when my turn comes. So after the first turn, uh, Rue is not going to be attacking because I have her set up to not use the other costume. And then I will try to buff with Ariness. That would be two skill points. So I have 10 now. Then Cry would need to use four to attack if he's still alive. So that would be then now only um, out of the 10, I would only have six skill points um, available. So now uh, the perfect scenario would be to add two units that only use three skill points. And here is where things get complicated because Alec actually used four, right? So I would not have enough skill points to attack with one of my units. And but most of the times, either Ariness is going to die, 
or Cry is going to die. So I would definitely would have enough skill points to use all of my abilities. And if I don't have enough, then it doesn't matter. The next turn, I will be able to attack with Elianir. And she was going to be able to remove buff if the enemies have any buff. And um, yeah, so basically that, right? Alec doesn't have any second costume, so he is not going to be using any more skill points for the next turns after that. So let me just go ahead and do a quick demonstration here. Uh, the order of attack is this. I want Alec to attack first because uh, if Cry is like, you know, pushing back an enemy and he would most likely have two enemies together. So now Alec can just destroy those two enemies. Let me just make sure that the costume is here. I mean, I'm sure that you don't really have to do this. But let me just do it just in case. All right. So let's go with the battles. Uh, at least one has five or six battles here. So again, the good thing about PvP uh, with true damage units is that they can basically always one shot. And that is what we're looking for. Um, let me just put this on two times. So there's no need to do this in one time. Okay, so... So far it's good. The only problem here is that He's going to be dead. Okay, that definitely dead. And I guess my Arianus is also going to be dead. I, I think I may be able to win here. Oh no, definitely not. Alright, so I guess I got a really, really hard battle here to start with. Alright, so let's go with the next one. Okay, I guess here we at least will be able to see uh, how much damage Alec is able to do. I don't think so because that Justia is dead. Oh, look at this. This guy is using Alec. Okay, so we definitely are going to be able to see Alec in action here. He's going to be attacking these two units in the front. And you can see there, 10k damage. So that's just a demonstration of how much damage you can do with Alec. So even if the enemy has like very, very high HP or barriers or things like that, you should definitely still be able to one-shot any enemy with Alec. So guys, um, just to summarize and uh, recap and then just finish with this video. Alec is a decent unit as long as you're able to get at least three copies of him to get him to plus three. If you manage to do that, then Alec, it would be insane and you would be able to use him in pretty much every theme and every content that you want. But before that, it would actually require you to have some specific setups maybe some specific units um, and you still will be lacking in uh, skill points so very very complicated situation with alec he doesn't have any crit rate and he doesn't have any crit damage so at least when i'm using justia like um i know for sure that my justia would deal damage with her basic attacks because she's able to actually um Crit, right she had some crit rate and she had some crit damage as well so i can rely on the basic attacks on the first turn to try and kill one unit but that's not something that you can do with alec so that's the problem i mean uh definitely just make sure that if you're going to be using him go with a weapon with attack person and then flat attack and then go for as much attack as you can in all of the other pieces of your gear Guys, I hope that this video was helpful, and if you're liking the content and you want to support me, you want to help me out, I would really, really appreciate if you can subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one, guys. Peace.